If you use Microsoft Outlook and you regularly send emails to the same groups of people, you can set up your own personal contact groups or distribution lists. So as I say, they're personal, so they're not shared across the company, they're your own private distribution list. Now, if you want to share them with somebody, you can do. You can send your contact group to somebody else, but it won't automatically update as you update yours. This is not a Microsoft 365 group, it's just your own personal distribution list. Somebody's recently asked me how to do this, and that's why I'm doing this video. Now, in addition to sending email to a distribution list, you can create a distribution list and you can embed them. So you can create a master distribution list and you can add other distribution lists within that one. So I'm going to walk through and show you how to create them, how to add and remove members and delete the groups. Sheridan Computers, IT, communications, support. There's a couple of ways that we can add new contact groups. Now the easiest way is from the Outlook Home screen, make sure that you're on the Mail tab, and then where you've got the uh, menu across the top, we've got File, Home, Send, Receive. So make sure that you're on Home, and then we've got New Items underneath it. So if we select New Items, and we drop down to More Items, and then Contact Group, that will open this window to create a new contact group. Uh, the second way to get into it is to make sure you're on the People tab, so this icon here. Then do new contact group. And again, that will open the new contact group where we can start creating them. So where the name is, you're just going to type in a name for it. So that's whatever name that you want to, your contact group to appear as. Uh, and then we've got members here. So add members. If we click add members, and we've got various options. So uh, from your contacts, from your address book, or a new email contact if it's not somebody that's already in your contacts. So if we do from Outlook contacts, again, you can change your address books here under address book. Um, we'll just leave that for the time being. So if we was just to click members here, that'll, we can click contact, add members, and it's just added that one contact in. Um, you can also add groups of members. So if I select test two, and then I hold the control key down, and I select the last one. So you can see by holding the control key down, I can select individual members to add. If you just wanted to add everybody to the group, if you hold the shift key down, and then click on the last, well, so to select the first contact that you want to add, hold the shift key down and select the last contact that you want to add, if they're all sequential, and then click members, and you'll see it adds them all in. So it's just, obviously I already had one selected. Let me just do that again. Members. So you can see we can add them in that way. So now we've got our contact group, and we can go up to save, and that's on our contact group. So within our contact group, you'll notice that our YouTube demo contact group appears. So now if we want to send them, we can click on that. And then we can see here, we can view the members. I'll show the information about the group. You can add your own notes. But if we want to send an email to that, if we go back to the mail tab up here, and I do new email, so now I can do, type the name of the group in, so it appears. Uh, another way to set the group, if, if you click two, and we can just select it here as well. And then hit the two field. And okay, it appears there. We delete that again. Or we can click two. So if you're sending it to, I don't know, Example five at test.com. And then we can just click to, and then if we want to CC them in, we can do CC that way. And then you can send to that group. Now, once you've got your contact group created, um, we can also, let me close this. If we go back to people. And then select the contact group. 
we've got this forward contact here so we can select forward as an outlet contact and that basically attaches that item so you can send that group to somebody else if you want to share it with somebody and close that we can also do share contacts now once a share contact appears you can choose which contacts that you want to share who you're sending it to and then the person that you've sent it to can save that group and they can use it as well um, now it's not a 365 group it's just a personal group so it won't sync with people that you send it to but they can add or modify it and it's just handy if you want to share groups with other people and that's basically how you create contact groups or private distribution lists So if you've got your contact group created and you want to uh, modify the members if we uh, make sure you're on the people tab and then just double click the group and it opens again so we can select a member and we can do remove member now we can add members back in and choose where you want to do it from and click members and again the same rule applies as it did when we was adding it before we can select individual ones by holding the control key down. For example, if I just wanted to select that one and test example without selecting test contact three, um, I can just hold the control key, key down and click the ones that I want. I'll turn so I can click the top one and hold shift down and select the last one. Or if you had a group here, you'd be able to select the first one, hold shift down and select the last one. And then OK, and it's added that back in. Um, if you've had enough of the group and you want to delete it just head over to delete group do you still want to delete it yep yep and that's it we're back Let's switch this over that's how you can create your own private distribution list within Outlook. So if you're sending emails to um, a number of contacts on a regular basis, you can create a group for them and that just makes it easy for yourself to manage. If you found this video useful, please hit the like button, consider subscribing to the channel, and if you hit the notifications icon, you might receive a notification of new videos that I do. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video.